Welcome back to Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen at Home Edition. My name is Amanda. As most of you probably know, the store is closed right now, but we are available by phone, email, and text message. And we are offering free local delivery on large items, either curbside or to the garage. We are also offering um, curbside pickup at Barbara and Haskell as well, which you can arrange with any of the staff members. Feel free to call or text us at 705-526-7811. We would be happy to help you with any of your appliance needs. Uh, today we are making some Easter brownies. Uh, this was voted on by our Facebook followers and it's all stuff that you can get at any of your local grocery stores. Pretty simple ingredients. We have a box brownie here. These are actually really, really delicious for a box brownie. Um, I give it two thumbs up. And all you need for this is water, oil, and an egg. Super easy ingredients to find. The rest of the ingredients are some mini eggs. And I've got some of them crushed up a little bit here. Some of them are regular. And you're also gonna want some cream eggs. We got some Reese eggs as well, because we like both. And then just whatever else you want for decorating. I grabbed some Peeps. We have some chocolate bunnies and some marshmallow eggs. Everything is just gonna come together and it's gonna be fun for the kids. So what you can do is maybe give your kids all their Easter candy and make this together as a family. So let's see how it's done. We have the brownies, they're in the oven right now and they're gonna cook for about 25 minutes. You're gonna wanna make sure they're still a little bit pliable um, when you take them out and then we're gonna put some of these ingredients on put it back in for a little bit of time, then we're gonna bring them back out, let them cool, and then finish the decorating with some of the marshmallows and fun stuff we have here. So let's see how it's done. All right, so we have pulled these out of the oven five minutes before it said to, and that's just gonna make sure that they're nice and pliable, um, and that way you can sink in all of your items and they're just gonna kinda float right into the batter. Um, I'm putting in the mini eggs first, just cause I think the placement of those is kind of a little more, a little more fun, a little more important maybe. I don't know, maybe that's enough. Maybe we don't wanna go too crazy. And then, actually those aren't mini eggs, those are cream eggs. Now I'm gonna put mini eggs on. And we have some crunched up ones, and I'm gonna put those on first. I'm just gonna kinda of sprinkle them all over the place. Put as many as you want on. A lot of people say that less is more, and in baking, I disagree. I think that more is more. So, just gonna put on some whole ones now as well just kind of get a nice pop of color on here. And now the rest of the decorating we're actually gonna do after this, and I'm just gonna get all the nice crumbs on there because there's lots of fun colors in all of the crumbs here too. So all of the extra decorating we're gonna do at the end. So just make sure you kind of Spread these out a little bit as you go and just kind of I'm gonna give them a little little nudge into the batter so they're kind of in there as far as they can go but still showing you don't want to push them in too too much either try not to cover up your mini eggs or cream eggs which I have done so I'm gonna try to pull some of that out a little bit All right, this is awesome, loving it. So don't forget when you go to put these back in, they need to cook for five more minutes. Don't forget to put your oven mitts back on. I forget to do this all the time. All right, so we've let our brownies cool completely. As you can see, I had it in tin foil. It makes it super easy to take out of the pan. Now all we're gonna do is add some cute little peeps on there. And then I got some cute little chocolate bunnies that we can put in here, like so. And there you have it, some Easter brownies. 
decorate them however you like. Thanks again for joining us on Barber and Haskell's Kitchen at Home Edition. If you have any questions, comments about the recipe or ideas for future shows, please let us know in the comments. Thank you and I hope you are staying safe and staying well.